What is a key factor in formulating a balanced raw diet for dogs? Maintaining a high carbohydrate content. I'm sorry, that was A, by the way. Maintaining a high carbohydrate content. B, ensuring a proper balance between omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. C, including a variety of grains for energy. <laughs> sorry, I can't keep a straight face. D, exclusive use of plant-based protein. I think it was B, right? I think it was B. Um, ensuring a proper balance between omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids, you are absolutely right. Yes. I would like to add a caveat to, not a caveat, I would like to add something to this because I like to get in, you Please. know, just my random thoughts on these things. Okay. Omega-3 to 6 is incredibly important, as we've talked about before, and uh, I talk about a lot with our foods and how we formulate them. But keep in mind... If, you, if your animal eats a meat-based diet, most of the fat they're getting is saturated fat. It, the saturated fats will make up around 50% or over of the diet itself. So, because people always, even in the dog world, they talk bad about saturated fat generally. But So just keep that in mind. So if you're, if you're saying something about um, coconut oil and people shouldn't use it because it's, it has saturated fat in it, well, your dog's diet is made up of a you know, mostly saturated fat as well, because it's actually the healthiest fat. So that's my little tidbit on that. I actually read something really interesting about saturated fat the other day, and I, God, I hope I don't butcher this, but I probably will. Um, Alzheimer's specifically. So it was about the progression of, you know, the stupid things we humans do. And the demonization of saturated fats and switching from animal fats and butters over to like seed oils. And um, that the, like that there's like this period of time when we really started pushing hard for like getting away from animal products and using more seed oils, <clears throat> excuse me. And it was around the seventies, I think it said don't quote me on that. And that's kind of when we started seeing a lot of Alzheimer's popping up. And they were saying that it's because our brain, something that, something to do with like the myelin in our brain, which is set, made up of saturated fats. So when we're not getting, when we're not eating saturated fats, we're literally like deconstructing the brain. And it's- Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um... And then also the other animal fats that, you know, typically don't come from plants as well. You know, the particular types of omega fatty acids and things. That makes sense. Well, that's good for me because I eat mostly saturated fat. So that's good. <laughs> yes. Well, you got to keep your brain strong. That's what you do. Yeah. 